Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Johnny Jet here with another episode of Fire Promoter Complete. Guys, it is the end of year five. And as I've said, I've made promises. We're going to be doing the tournament to crown our six-man tag team champions here tonight. So, you got to set up the tournament bracket a little bit here. I've formulated a few teams. I have an idea of who's going to be in this tournament. Number one seed, I feel like it has to be the Four Horsemen. I feel like the number one seed has to be the Horsemen. And if it's got to be the Horsemen, it's got to be Flair, it's got to be Omega, and it's got to be Double J, Jeff Jarrett. That's number one seed. Number two seed would be way down here. Uh, that's gotta be. That's gotta be. That's gotta be Williams, Priestley, and yeah, that's the only. That's the only thing that makes sense. And they're only number two because they haven't been tag team champions in a little bit. That's gotta be. But they've gotta be the. They've gotta be number two. Williams, Priestley, and uh, Paul Collins. They've gotta be the number two seed. Number three seed. Uh, let me look here. Let me look at my little list. Um, my, mm, okay, I can see that argument. Yeah, yeah. So, number three is going to be the Tokyo Cyber Squad. Kagami, Kiryu, and Kimura. They're going to be num their number three seed. Number four seed down here, that should probably be from Pro Wrestling Ace. That should probably be from Pro Wrestling Ace. Led by Matt Robinson, it's going to be Sergio Perez and Will Ospreay. Conspicuous in his absence from the tournament will be Steve Corino. Then we'll move up to here. And let's see. I should probably be taking people out of these... Uh, I should probably be uh, removing the teams that I've actually used. But I have not done that. So, oh well. It, it can't be done now. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put... I think I'm going to throw the filthy animals in up here. Because they are the reigning tag team champions. They should be high on the list. So, the horsemen versus the filthy animals are going to start the show. I like that. Down here, I'm gonna throw in the I'm gonna throw in uh, Kai and Tai, who should be a pretty high ranked uh, trio. Mm, here, let's go ahead and put who was my other team? Ah, yeah. Well, do I want them there? Hmm. Or do I want them there? Here, here. This is a good spot for them. <clears throat> so it is here. Then I'm going to put our old friend Batman, his good friend Gold Dust, and Spanky, the new Robin, Leonardo Spanky. Brian Kendrick is the new Robin. And then we've got another great trio that's not a formal trio, but it is being formed here this evening. Jack Howard called in favors from his old friend, David Houston. David Houston's going to be joining Jack Howard in this trio, but they had to find a third man. They had to find someone to join the team, to join the squad, and, well, there's only one third man that would fit the bill. Hulk Hogan has joined Grenade Pro Wrestling and he will be joining Jack Howard and David Houston to form the trio called Triple H. And they will be in this tournament. We're not quite selling out at this rate. I don't want to lower the price. I'm willing to keep it like this. It's not that many people missing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. This is what we're doing. Six-man tag team action. You've seen the teams. Not the whole, the whole roster could not possibly get on this card. Not enough spots, but we're doing we're doing the we're doing the deal. Lock ourselves into this timeline. Let's do some merch. We need to sell merch. We need to sell merch. Um, we got 40,000 people coming. 
Let's go ahead and let's throw let's throw money into it, man. We've got Hogan here. We've got Flair here. We've got all the big names. Everybody, everybody's coming to Grenade Pro Wrestling. Throw it all in there. All the money we can, all the money we can find. Scrape it up from under the the couch. All the money. Get rid of all this garbage. Everybody can have a snack and then some. No, that's ridiculous. Half of you can have snacks. There we go. I like that more. Should I get rid of the photo collection? Eh, it'll sell out. It's fine. That's eh, fine. We're spending $1.7 million on this. But I feel good about it. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. And here we here we go, guys. This is going to be it, man. This is going to be the, the end of the year, year five, hopefully ending on a high note. I didn't even go over the last show, did I? I didn't even go over our last show leading into this. I didn't even tell you what happened last time leading into this. You've been watching, but I'll tell you anyway. Marty Skrull beat Rocky Romero in the opening contest. B. Priestley and Paul Collins beat Steve Corino and his debuting partner Spanky, who is now teaming with Goldust and Batman. Spanky just being used as a punchline in every segment that he's in so far. Matt Robinson, Sergio Perez, and of course Will Ospreay beat Kai and Tai in the third match here. Takaya Kiryu and Hanakimura got a win over former tag team champions Kenny Omega and Jeff Jarrett in tag team action. One of the best nights of the card, almost the best night, but not quite. Um, Thomas Walker, Jeff Bryan, Bill Bullock, they were guaranteed. They were built, designed to be in this tournament. But unfortunately for them, Thomas Walker did pick up an injury. They won against the debuting Filthy Animals, who currently hold the tag team titles. But unfortunately, they're a man down. They're not going to be in this one. Goldust beat Triple H in an ongoing feud between the Four Horsemen and their friend Triple H and Goldust and Batman. David Houston lost to Hiro Mikami for the junior heavyweight title. David Houston has been chasing for so long. He just came up short again. And it's such a bummer. <laughs> I'm still bummed out about it. But Jack Howard did win the Pro Wrestling Ace Heavyweight Championship from Kagami in the match of the night beyond Anything that anyone else was putting on, Jack Howard put on one hell of a match with Kagami. Unseating Kagami, taking the Pro Wrestling Ace Heavyweight Championship. Jack Howard, hey man, he's he's got the gold for a reason. He's the ace for a reason. And then in our main event, it... <laughs> Our, our main event that basically didn't happen. Mickey Williams and Ric Flair brawled a lot... They rolled out of the ring, they brawled some more, got back in the ring, got back out of the ring, and then Mickey Williams rolled in and there was a count out. <laughs> so Ric Flair, in our main event for the GPW Heavyweight Championship, Ric Flair lost to Mickey Williams. It, uh, how many title defenses has Mickey Williams had? In five years, he's, had, he's defended the title eight times, which I feel like is kind of low, but not like super low. It's not, not the worst. It could be worse. Uh, but regardless, that was last month. On to the new year. And let's crown our six-man tag team champions. Been trying to do this for a year now. Let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. Tournament time on Christmas Day. 37,000 people came out on Christmas to watch this wrestling match. Well, these the series of wrestling matches. So we start out with the Four Horsemen versus the Filthy Animals. Ric Flair, Kenny Omega, and Jeff Jarrett taking on Conan, Fernando Diaz, and Daniel Hernandez. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Gomez? Something. He has a name. Yeah, you know him. So let's see. Horsemen? 
looking to gain these titles, looking to get some gold around their waist. Let's see how it goes. Marty Skrull carrying the bags once more. Oh, wow. Daniel Gonzalez knocks out Ric Flair. The Horsemen are kicked out of the tournament. They're number one seed, and they lose. Oh, my God. Oh, somebody needs to check on Jarrett and see if he's okay. Like, what I'm imagining, what I'm imagining, right? Jarrett goes to hit somebody with the guitar. Gonzalez grabs it from behind him, takes it out of his hands. Jarrett spins around, clocks him with the guitar, does Gonzalez, rolls him up. One, two, three. Ric Flair, Kenny Omega, and Jeff Jarrett are out of the tournament in the first round. Wow. Okay. Starting things off hot. All right. Tokyo Cyber Squad, that's Kagami, Hana Kimura, and Taka Yakiryu taking on the Super Friends, Batman, Goldust, and Spanky. And we're going to see which of them comes out on top. Could be anybody. Anybody's game here. Okay. Kagami gets the win over Spanky. As one might expect, he's the right man to take the fall if, if anyone's going to. So, good. Okay. So, now, pro wrestling ace, Matt Robinson, Will Ospreay, and Sergio Perez taking on Jack Howard, David Houston, and who's, who's that? Who's that? It's Hulk Hogan making his return to Grenade Pro Wrestling. We paid him way too much money to get here, and here he is for your entertainment. I hope he's not the first person to, the, he's not eliminated immediately. That'd be awkward. Hulk Hogan knocks out Will Ospreay. Okay. Well, we put him over strong. We put him over strong first thing right out the gate. Okay. Oh man, I'm I'm a little scared of I'm a little scared of Hogan with our gym equipment. Huh, that's it. That'll be something. But we got to move on. Mickey Williams teaming up with former tag team champions Paul Collins and B. Priestley to take on Kai and Taitaka, Mikanoku, uh, Koichiro Togashi, and Men's Tail. Um, one of these teams is a dedicated six man tag team, a, a dedicated tag team. The other is a loose collection of people who have associated. So let's see how it goes. Mickey Williams might be able to pull this one out because he is, yeah, he is, he's still Mickey Williams. So he, he makes Togashi tap out to the headlock. I mean, hey, he's getting the move over. All right, here we go. Now, the Filthy Animals taking on Tokyo Cyber Squad. Filthy Animals beat the, they beat the Four Horsemen. Tokyo Cyber Squad beat superheroes. So, I don't know. It could go either way, really, when you think about it. <laughs> Superheroes and the Horsemen, about equal. So, both acc accolades here. Conan, leading the, hor or leading the Horsemen, leading the Filthy Animals to a victory here, beats Hanakimura, makes her tap out. Hey, man, good, they had a good showing. The, the Filthy Animals move on to the finals of the tournament. But who's that, who are they going to meet? Are they going to meet Jack Howard's team? Or are they going to meet Mickey Williams' team? And yes, it is Jack Howard's team, not Hulk Hogan's team, because Jack Howard is the guy. <laughs> so, all right, let's see how it goes. Let's 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 do this damn thing. I'm actually, oh Hogan, Hogan carrying his team. Apparently, They're, why are they letting Hogan get the win every time? He knocked out. Okay. He well he 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 made B Priestley tap out now. So alright, here we go. Here we here we go. Okay. The filthy animals taking on Jack Howard, David Houston, and Hulk Hogan. Six man tag team titles on the line that's happening right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go for your main event. It is Time for the six-man tag team title tournament finale. And you see making his way to the ring one half of the GPW tag team champions, Daniel Gomez Gonzalez. And his partner for the evening and in the tag team division as a whole, 
You see him right there, the other half of the tag team champions, Fernando Diaz, making his way down toward the ring now. Both of these men, already accomplished athletes, already champions. And they are, of course, joined by their mentor, the leader of the Filthy Animals, Conan, now making his way to the ring. Conan joined Grenade Pro Wrestling only a short time ago, and he's already been making an impact here in this company. But speaking of impacts, speaking of big-name signings, you know, they call Conan the Hulk Hogan of Mexico. Well, Hulk Hogan is the Hulk Hogan of the United States, brother, brother. And here he is, the immortal himself. And he is joined by Mr. Gold, the anti-gravity kid, David Houston, the man who holds virtually every junior heavyweight championship in the world, but not the GPW junior heavyweight championship. And those two men are led by the ace of Grenade Pro Wrestling, by the greatest wrestler to ever set foot in a professional wrestling ring, the Hollywood hunk, Jack Howard, your Super Lucha Heavyweight Champion and your Pro Wrestling Ace Heavyweight Champion. Jack Howard squaring off now with Conan as we start this competition. Jack Howard picks Conan up. They tie up. Now big fallaway slam right onto the logo in the center of the ring. What a professional Jack Howard is as he locks on its Boston Grabby. Big boot to the face, but it, it rocks Conan, but Conan stays on his feet. Tags out to Diaz now. Does Conan. Elbow, but no. Fernando Diaz going for that spear, but misses wildly. Sent into the ropes for his trouble. Ducks under those slides beneath Whatever it was that uh, Howard had planned there, but gets an elbow drop to the face there. Now, test of strength. Diaz actually getting a little bit of headway for a second there. Into the ropes he goes. Howard off the ropes. Shoulder tackle. Into the ropes he goes. Howard, no. Thanks better of it. Ooh. Uh, I, looks like he slipped and fell there, did Fernando Diaz. Howard wrestling smart here, keeping his distance, but keeping the pressure on when it counts here. And now Diaz tags out to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez immediately in here to fight Howard. Howard smartly, oh, he's tagging in the big man, tagging in the immortal Hulk Hogan. He must be immortal. He's like 70-something, and he's still wrestling to this level. You know, some would say Hulk Hogan has carried his team to the finals. He's gotten the win in both matches up to this point. You have to wonder... How much of an impact Hogan is having on the six-man tag team tournament? Chokes out uh, Gonzalez there for a second. Big heel wrestler Hulk Hogan covers up Gonzalez, but Gonzalez is able to kick out before even a one count sends him into the turnbuckle. Does Gonzalez, and now Gonzalez tied up with Hogan, picks him up, body slams Hulk Hogan to the outside. Oh, Hogan. Ho oh, come on. Not this way. Not this way, Hulkster. Snapmare there on Hogan from Gonzalez. Looked like Howard was able to talk Hogan into dropping the chair. You might call it an equalizer. They lock up now. Big brain buster on the way here. Ooh, stalling brain buster. The strength of Gonzalez there. Gonzalez tags out to Diaz. Hogan tags out to Houston, fights off both of the tag team champions at once. Houston and Diaz now the legal men. His body slammed is David Houston. David Houston on the defense here. Frankensteiner there from David Houston picks his man back up. Grabs him from behind, rolls him up, does Diaz, but not even a one count there. 
Six minutes into the match now. Snapmare from Diaz. Houston with that smart wrestling. Nice maneuver there. Sends him into the ropes. Pop up. Hurricane Rana covers him one, but no, not even a two count there. Diaz sent into the ropes. Reverses, though. Slides under. Into the ropes he goes. Oh, big nothing there from Diaz. Misjudged his uh, spacing there, but not that time. Front suplex. Turned him inside out. Pops up, but no powerbomb reversal. Could be at one. No, not a two count there. Houston tagging out to his friend, Jack Howard. Howard, the legal man, now against Diaz. But Houston still in the ring, working on Diaz. Howard and... Howard... Oh, what's he going to do here? Powerbomb power to the turnbuckle. Trying to injure... Fernando Diaz is Jack Howard. Howard now body slamming the, 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 the tag team champion here. Sends him into the ropes, does Diaz. Slides under. Oh, drop toe hold there. But now going over, tagging in the mentor, tagging in Conan. Howard, I think, maybe thought that Diaz was still the legal man. He was mistaken, though. A lock up here. Double underhook. Has him. Butterfly suplex covers him. One, two. That could be it, but no. Too early. Conan, too wily. Into the ropes and now goes for that lariat, but no. Rodeo stretch from Howard to Conan. Nobody getting in. Nobody trying to stop these submission attempts. Howard tagging out to Hogan now. Hogan and Gonzalez, the legal men now. Short arm lariat there from Gonzalez, standing moonsault. One, two, no one even, no one even trying to get into the ring. Maybe they have too much confidence in their teammates there. Big brain buster there from Hogan to Gonzalez. They lock up. Tries to take out the shoulder of the Hulkster. Does Gonzalez. Stretch muffler now applied. Oh, and there they come. Breaking it up. Oh, wow. Triple team assault now on Gonzalez. Wow. Really working over this young man here. Gonzalez thought about tagging out there. Didn't do it. Hogan did, though. Tagged out to how? Hogan tagged out to Howard. The crowd firmly on the side of Triple H. The team, not the person. Picks him up, does Howard. Gonzalez retreating to his corner. Goes to tag in Conan. I guess he feels like Conan is the match for Jack Howard. Everybody seems to tag in Conan when Jack gets in the ring. Conan... Short arm lariat from Howard to Conan. Conan with the back grapple here. Back, oh, headbutt to the back of the head there from Conan. Stomping away now on the back. Oh, but double underhook. Butterfly suplex covers him up. One, two, but no, not even a two count. Nope. Dragon clutch here now. Now all the filthy animals are in the ring. Referee forcing Gonzalez out, but Conan's still in there. And Oh, well, Conan's legal. All right, Howard up to the top rope. Fist drop to the lower back of Conan. What's he looking for? Goes goes back up for it. In stereo, but ooh, high risk, no reward in that case. And now going for the package pile. Driver center of the ring. This could be it for the GPW Tag Team Championships. The, the, oh, no, no, not able to get it there. Was Jack Howard tags out to David Houston. And it's all, oh, th this is breaking down. Everybody's, everybody's in the ring right now. Run up, moonsault, but it's in the ropes. David Houston is your legal man. Conan also, Conan trying to get there, but no, he's able to. Howard tried to cut him off, but not able to do it effectively. Jack Howard and Gonzalez slams him to the outside, does. Oh no, that was a mistake from, from, uh, from Houston there. David Houston. Now grappling 
with Daniel Gonzalez. Oh, looks like a little bit of turnabout. Fair play spills Houston to the outside. And oh, now Houston at the mercy of the filthy animals. Well, what's the what? reverse emerald flosion from Gonzalez in the ring as he goes to work. And just a regular emerald flosion. Gonzalez fighting off every member of the team. Where did he get the chair, though? The chair. Uh, that dirty Conan must have gave it to him. You see the pain that Houston's in? Oh, what, oh, it's broken down. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it in such sporting competition. Gonzalez tags out. Houston tags out. Oh, there's that chair. Houston must have brought, brought it with him. I don't know what happened. Oh, a big flippy boy there from, from Diaz. Double underhook. Angels wings from Houston. Howard gets him up. Half and half suplex. Plants him. Center of the ring now. What's he looking for? Oh, no. Diaz able to reverse it. Goes for a big brain buster on the logo. What a professional. But now front chancery from Houston. What's he going to go for? Who went for a spear? But Howard lifted his leg up. Oh, hey, up by. And Diaz just missed that spear. Whiffed it pretty bad. And now trading blows. Fernando Diaz and Jack Howard. Super kick. But no, discus lariato. Jack Howard on the offense, but now on the defense as a big body slam sends him to the mat. Fernando Diaz sends him into the ropes now. Oh, went for something there, but Howard able to avoid it. Short arm lariat tags out to Hogan now. Howard sends him into the corner, but no, Fernando able to escape. Hogan just lets him tag out. Hogan surely could have stopped that. And a big power slam now. But Hogan on the defense here. Slays him out. Does Diaz. But Gonzalez up to the top rope. What's he looking for? Your flying splash on Hogan. The old man's back has to be hurting after that one. But what's he looking for here? Big power bomb from the Hulkster. And the big boot. This is it. Nope. I guess not. A big boot again. And then just adds insult to injury. He usually goes for the... He usually goes for the leg drop after that, but I guess not tonight. Hogan now, big brain buster to Gonzalez. Oh, rolls him up, does Gonzalez, but no, in the ropes. But, oh, Diaz and Houston, but what, 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 what's going on? Oh, no, I thought for a second there, I thought that uh, Howard was going to be too distracted. To, no! Plants him, does Hogan, right on the logo. And now gets him up. He's going to do it again in stereo. David Houston, the legal man, goes up to the top rope in enemy territory with a moonsault. Fernando Diaz tags out to Conan, saves his life in this match. Now he's going up to the top rope. Conan dancing. Flexing on him. Houston and Conan, legal men now. Front chancery from Conan. Puts him in position. Conan to the top rope. Elbow drop to the back of the anti-gravity kid. And they lock up. Conan, what's he going for here? Pile, driver jumping style. To really break the neck of David Houston. Gets him into this... This dragon sleeper, this could be it. Hogan trying to save the day, but Gonzalez stops it. Full Nelson slam. Package pile driver from Howard now. And they're just trading blows. Conan gets the super kick. And now Houston tags out to the Hulkster. Mexican Hogan versus American Hogan. And shades of Hogan from Houston now as the leg drop connects. And a second one for good measure. Hogan gets him up. He's not done. Big boot to the back of the head. And covers him up now. Hulk Hogan. One, two, this could be a three. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan wins. 
the six man tag team titles. Jesus. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Hogan w won every single one of those matches. Hogan, I guess, carried his team to this to these titles. Quite a like impressive debut for Hulk Hogan in GPW on the full roster. You know, he's done spot shows for us before, but that was that was a a really good a really good uh, finals for that, that title. Yeah, that's good. That was, mm -hmm. yeah, we won, we got money. Oh yes, yeah, the end of the year too. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of tournaments happening in, geez, all the tournaments happening in January, I guess. All right, here we go. Annual results time. Did you know it's not over yet? We earned 2.6 million that year. I feel good about that. We're up to five. We're number three. We rose from number five to number three. We are we're get, we're getting big, brother, brother. All right, cool. Third biggest company in the world now. Let's look at this. We'll see this in graph form in a moment. But twelfth overall in popularity, which is not I mean not the best, but you know what? We are uh, we are we we have risen. Um, we have the 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 most or best or something wrestlers. And that's consistent. That's uh, we also have the same the same in uh, in in the gym, best gym in the world. Eleventh um, in uh, as far as money goes, that's solid. Uh, and we've risen to number two as far as uh, title belts go, surpassing the SWA, which is basically WWE in this point. So we have the most uh, second most prestigious belts. Hmm. That's exciting. All right, so let's look at uh, let's look at us year over year asset transition. Eh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, title belt transition though has been really good for us. We've been moving onward and upward. Um, our rank transition has been good. Our popularity, yeah, we had a little dip here. We had this little dip, but things have been moving up. Things have been going good. Best wrestlers in the world three years in a row. Best gym in the world four years in a row. We pumped a lot of money into it back in back in year one. Uh, after we when we could we got we pumped money into it. So I feel good about this. We're all, we're gonna be number one. We will be number one. We're number three right now. We're gonna be number one. Okay, Iwasa has been scouted in America. Ric Flair wants more money. Jack, of course. Yeah, Jack wants more money. He's going to get it. Um, Ta Taka? Okay. All right, sure, sure. I'm in a very good mood. So, uh, like, let's see. Rick, Jack, Taka, David. Okay. Any, anybody else? G Goldust? Okay, uh, everybody wants. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Everybody wants money. Okay. Well, hey, hey, we sold more DVDs. <laughs> sure, Charlie from DFW. We won't book you, but sure. All right. New sponsorship deal. Gekito TV, sure, sure. This is our main sponsor now, our new main sponsor, giving us $10,000. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, girl, how you doing? How you living? Yep, that lit cola is going to be our, our thing. I don't want to say goodbye to Monster Gains, but, like, here's the thing, though. They're only offering me 300 bucks. I can do way better than that. I can do so much better than that, especially with Thick Rick. Oh man, like I'm glad I'm glad this lit cola sponsorship is going forward. 
Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. That's the stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm glad it was for two years. This is good. I, I, I hate to lose Monster Gains as a sponsor. They've been with us through thick and thin. But here is our new sponsorship list. I feel good about it. Uh, Gekato TV, sure, they love wrestling, so, all right. Uh, we've got Jumbo March still, we've got Inspiration still, we've got Lit Cola on a big contract for two years, I'm way into that, that's, that is effectively worth, what, 160000 so that's a good contract for us. Uh, Thick Rick, giving us 4000 I feel good about it, I feel good, man, I feel good about all this, yeah. All right, there it is, guys. That's that's year five done and in the bag. That's in the history books now, guys. I gotta give some people some money real quick, but we're about to wrap up. Um, so let's see who the massive list of people who want money. Who was it? Everyone should just give everybody a, a raise. Ric Flair wants more money. I mean, that's fair though. That's fair to Flair. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him five. Five eight. He does deserve that. Ric Flair does deserve that. Uh, Jack Howard, he, hey, you know what? He's the ace of our company. I'm going to give him a raise, too. A good middling raise. Um, Taka, he wants money, too. I'm willing to give him a, a slight bump. I'm not willing to give him a big bump. Like, they haven't done, they haven't done enough to deserve that, in my opinion. Uh, David Houston, he just got another title. Oh man, you're not making much at all. Here, buddy, have, here, eat, eat for a month. Um, some of these guys, yeah, they're almost on starvation wages. Like Spanky's making 800 bucks a month. He has to have like another job. Um, but we got David Houston taken care of. Gold dust. Eh... You've been doing good. You've been doing good work. But have you been doing, like, good, good work? Eh, I'll go ahead and give you some money, Goldust. Um, Will Ospreay has been exceptionally middling. He's probably not going to be here for much longer. He's he's D rank. He or He's like, his trust is D. He doesn't like us. I'm going to give him a big raise to hopefully, like, make him happier with us. And maybe he can quit his job, his side job at whatever, whatever side job he has to work to make ends meet. Because he was making like 800 bucks a month off of us. Um, Daniel Gonzalez, he wants a raise. I'm willing to give him a raise, but I don't know about $6,000 worth. Well, he's been getting some big wins. But I don't know. I still don't know about six thousand dollars. I'm gonna give him the five, five three. I think is 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 solid. Um, and Bill Bullock wants a raise too, huh? Bill Bullock. I mean, I can afford to give you. I can afford to give you a raise, but I'm not gonna give you a good raise. Here's here's you can not, you can make eight hundred bucks a month. Let's, let's look at what people make real quick because I didn't realize some people are making a straight up less than the poverty line off of this. They have to have other jobs. Okay, so Rocky Romero, Spanky, who all is making less than a thousand? Bill Bullock, Thomas Walker. Okay. Men's toe, okay. Okay, not a lot of people are, are below. Not, not a lot of people have to have side jobs. Who's my highest paid guy? Uh, 21, uh, 8, 5, uh -huh. 9, 1, okay. Okay, so Kiryu is my highest paid dude. Is that justifiable? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe. And then there's Hulk. Then there's Hulk Hogan, who generously is only making eighteen hundred a month. Perez and Kiryu are making like way, way, way more money than you would expect. I think. I feel like they're making way more money than you would expect them to make. Like, what is Ric Flair's not making even six? 
And Sergio Perez is making like eight, five. Yeah, that's wild. Hanukkah Murrow's making six. <laughs> Ric Flair being very generous. Hulk Hogan being extremely generous. Yep, sure, sure. What's, what, what did I sign Triple H for? What does Triple H mean? Two? 21? Okay. What's billionaire Batman making? 18? Okay. All right. Okay. Well, it's nice some people are doing me favors by working here and, and not charging their value. But uh, that's wild, man. I've already saved this. I don't know why I just did that. But let's see how the, let's see how the training center's doing. Not bad. Not bad. I could... I could fix this up a little bit. I'll spruce this up right fast, yeah. Make this a little, a little nicer. I don't think I'm going to do that yet, because I might actually upgrade this on the next episode. I might upgrade some stuff on the next episode. But, um... Was somebody scouted? I, I know our DVDs were selling like crazy, but... Uh, did we scout somebody? I'll check that out before I go, too. Somebody in North America, I think it was. Ah, Michael Iwasa. Yeah. Okay. That's neat. I guess if I need someone cheap, I'll 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 bring him aboard. Um Hogan. Hogan yeah, Hogan's a monster now that he's got our gem behind him. Hogan might be the uh Hogan might be the best wrestler on our roster. Oh, and Kiryu's right there too. We've got a lot of really good wrestlers. Well, who do you think is the best wrestler that we have, though? Let me know in the comments, guys. And uh, I'm going to be back really soon with a new episode of Fire Promoter Complete. It's tomorrow, in fact. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And if you don't mind, go ahead, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know what it is. Uh, I think I said content. I think I said maybe continent. I don't know. Like, continent, and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And bye for now.